All right, let's debug the issue primary key duplicate key error. So this is when you get the violation of the primary key constraint uh, and cannot insert duplicate key into uh, the object table. Duplicate key is some value. We're specifically looking at, and I've seen this a lot in, in some ETL processes where for whatever reason, and I, I, I think it's people don't understand relational databases. There's a lot of misunderstanding, but let's let's assume it's not. But you have a source table that uses one primary key, and you have a destination table that uses another primary key, and they're pushing data flow over. And I don't know why you would design things that way. I mean, to, that's why I say the design is wrong. But let's let's assume that there's some legitimate reason behind it. So let's demo this. So we have a table where we have uh, fake socials and fake mortgage numbers or fake loan numbers, let's say. You'll notice that there's two of the same loan numbers. And you'll also notice if we go to our tables that in our first table, the primary key is the fake social. In the second table, it's the fake loan number. Mm, we can already see what, what's going to happen, right? And for whatever reason, let's say that our ETL flow is going to take data from the first table and go to the second table. And unfortunately, I've seen this. Um, which again, I'm like, why would you suddenly switch using the primary keys? But let's assume there's a valid reason. Well, we get this violation, right? Because there's a duplicate loan number uh, 113. Makes sense. So more than likely, the again, assuming the design is legit, the destination primary key is either not unique or the source table is wrong by not making the destination primary key not unique. Okay, let's suppose you actually are trying uh, to, and I'm trying to think of why you would do this without an associative table, but let's just suppose they're just going to bypass the associative table process, that you would want um, your table with socials and customer information, um, and you want to store that in your table with loan information, like let loan numbers. And I cannot think of the reason why someone would do it that way. I mean, that, that would be the associative table. But anyway, let's let's assume that that's the design. Well, what you need to do then is you need to enforce, or I mean, one of the things you should do, I should say, is you need to then enforce that rule, that unique rule on that uh, first table. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a constraint on this first table, and I'm going to say, look, this uh, column here, this fake loan number column, MBS number column, has to be unique, right? So then when I create that table, and I try to insert these same values, I'm going to get an error here because it's going to say, oh, there's a duplicate uh, loan number. Can't stress enough, more than likely the design is wrong. There may be situations in which that's valid. I, off the top of my head, I can't think of it for ETL specifically um, because usually what you're doing is you're trying to build a, a snowflake or a star schema. So you're going to have different tables and then using associative tables, you're going to be linking them together. And then the long-term goal, of course, is you have your facts and dimensions. But uh, I have seen this several times, and it's a misunderstanding of you. if your source table has a unique uh, key or is unique in certain ways that's different than your destination table, that is going to open you up to problems. So your destination on one level has to match your source. Otherwise, you should expect this error because what will happen is if your source is not going to enforce those rules, then your destination is going to enforce those rules that should be enforced technically on your source if you're trying to get all those records.